Yo, what up, Internet? Happy New Year, Internet. Welcome to Bricks and Beer. And sometimes water. And sometimes water. Episode 56. Yeah. The first episode of 2018. Probably. It's actually still 2017. We're time travelers. Yes. So yes. it's not there yet. But it's coming up soon. It's, um, yeah, we got like a day and a half left. Yeah. 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 There's some other episodes that have happened that I'm going to post all at once. I'm just lazy and haven't posted that. That's fine. So you might get like a triple shot. This might be the rare like, what happened? Here's three hours of content. Which gives us a nice opportunity to apologize yeah, for so this, our this last... Bookend, probably yeah, probably yeah. 50, I mean, 54. I can't apologize for the 54. most recent episode because that, that was ace. Yeah. I wasn't there, but... Um, you're well behaved. We were, we were okay. You, you probably didn't stop the episode in the middle of a sentence yeah, because yeah. I'm not allowed to touch the computer anymore, unfortunately. I'm that guy now. Yeah. So, so anyway. Um, episode 54. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a little off the rails. There's, there's definitely there's some superlatives attached to that one. We'll leave it up to you. Um. So tonight, today, this year, last year's beer, Fat Tire, Belgian White gonna say not really a fan um i'm not a big white beer fan anyway but uh i like fat tire how did this yeah, make you know. its way into your i, I, I bought this so voluntarily bought this at target okay. today while i was there target beer yeah you know or miss sometimes they i also got excellent beer i have some stone river they'll probably drink out of this no oh, cool. um, yeah. hopefully the wife who likes this beer it's good to have a plan so that she will give your wife a bad beer <laughs> Well, I mean, she drink might like it. Beer. Yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, different tastes. Different, different. Uh, I can't drink any of it, so. There you go. Ooh, we're good. So, I hope you had a good holiday. Yeah. That was yeah. just a couple of days ago for us. It was, it was pretty fun. My, my holiday, it was not so Lego fantastic as mm-hmm. most of the Whack Lugs holidays. Uh, we have this, like, text chain, and, like, all of a sudden, it's just, like, Look at mine, Ninjago City! Yeah, oh I, my god! I was doing pretty in good. Your face. Until Until Morrow <laughs> busted out the Ninjago City. Yeah. And, uh, unboxing. And a, and a promise of a monorail. Like a golden pony. And a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, uh, and Zach's getting leg out. And like, the only thing I got, I got two fucking sets that I bought myself on clearance. I got two of these. 15 bucks. Good deal. At Toys R Us. Good deal. I snagged um, two. Yeah. Also. It's a decent set. Like, it, it comes with this rad snake chick. Like, you know. Whipperella. Shout out to Whipperella. Yeah, that's not weird. I, yeah, you know, because I needed a Whipperella in my life. We all do. Uh, so that's that's all I got for my, my holiday haul. But uh, these dudes definitely, like, um, yeah, out a bunch of shit. I had some nice generosity come my way. Shout out to my lady. And because I, I made a, a Christmas list and I basically was like, I'm going to slide a couple big ticket items on there. And then like the, my realistic work expectation yeah. set, yeah. you know, a couple of sets down below that. And she just actually took the top two. And one of them was this turkey, which is I'll be right back. gorgeous, a super fun build. Um, <clears throat> the other one is the Ninjago City uh, boat, um, Ninjago movie. I meant to say boat. Um, I'm, I'm spoiling that because I want to just point something out about these designer sets, the, these either like the high-end creator sets or the um, modular sets or the movie sets, that there's this designery element that makes these builds so fun to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the, the comparison point I always like to make are the XO4 sets, which look really cool from the front and then look like five plates from the back. I may have even said that in, during another one of these episodes. Um, you know, they just don't, they didn't build the back. Well, and the, like you could tell the budget was just like exactly constrained. And the, um, those fancy rationing click hinge parts apparently cost a lot of money <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> they were just figuring out. Uh, shout out, out to Exos Force though. It's, oh, it's like, a great it's line. Like, Some of my favorite minifigs. And, and like, it gave us the, the droids that they gave us were like dumb as shit. They were basically like Ed 209, but like, um, what's the one in, uh, Judge Dredd? The, uh, oh, it's like that Stone. ABC droid? Yeah, that? yeah. Something like that? They, they kind of like, it kind of reminded me of like that. It's just this mm. like static thing with mm-hmm. the arms, but those arms are fucking amazing, like change everything. So it's yeah. like, you know, you take you take the bad with the good. The minifigures are cool. I like the anime faces. I like to make those for my own little original characters because they're, they're super expressive because they're, they're big, yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're, 
Wow. Um, <laughs> and the hair, the different hairs that were that came out of that set were great. Um, and also, I just loved it because you know Lego just has this like, oh no, we don't do military. We're not about guns. And then they do this anime set, and we're like. Robots would be like, hey, yeah, eight it's, balls, it's you a, think you can make really cool guns? Like, check this shit out. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I loved it for that. Um, but the design resets that I'm talking about, the ones that are sort of in this weird They category, have the backs. They do the backs, <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, which is, and, and um, here, let's take a look at the back of the Destiny's Bounty. This is the new one for the movie. I think the third version. And it's got this wonderful little it's lower deck. Like, and I mean, I, I, I'm not going to try to take things apart and show the interiors because they're all just adorable. Um, there's a really cool usage for uh, the awning here. Oh, that's yeah. the tracks. That's the, you know, it's black, so you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah, it's kinda. over there. It's just two um, of those um, black tread pieces there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. If you, it's, it's cool. If you're not into it's it. Definitely. But you see one in the Lego store in a clear box, like, take a look at it. It's worth checking out. It's, it's, it's pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was also, it was fun to build, too. And I got a couple uh, brick heads. I got my first ever brick heads. And I just built this right before we started recording. And I got to say, this hair. It's pretty good. Is it's great. a nice, solid chunk of Lego. Like, it is. It's a good amount of parts. It is. It's hefty. I mean, actually, my. box? Uh, yeah. well, it's oh, oh, it's over there. There it is. Okay. And my favorite thing about Finn is actually he, that his hair has got this smooth part along the back of his neck and side, you know. So I guess I guess the hair is my favorite part of both of these guys. So wow. Far. So yeah, that one has 151 parts. And uh, I I went to Target today, bought some shit on clearance. clearance. Um, and these are only, this is only 118. And that's 150. That's interesting. And this is 109. Black Widow is 143. Captain America is 79. Cat. Oh, dude. You know why? He off that fucking no shield. Hair. No, he's got no hair. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. It's, it's all about the hair. The Widow one's really good. I, I own that one. I built Captain Salazar. That's explicit. Whatever the face. Um, I really like these. These are printed one by one round silver parts. Uh, just with the like little halo printing, which is it's such a cool detail. Oh, those are buttons. Yeah, they're supposed to be buttons. Then but those they'll are, be whatever's. That um, same exact part shows up in the yellow submarine set. It's on the motor. Um, nice. And it's great. It's super subtle printing. Sorry about the noise, but I just wanted to shout out about this piece, which oh, yeah. is yeah. nuts because uh, the last two mocks I've really spent any time with I've, are made of they're so handy you know and it's just you make this really great snot core um and one of the mocks you saw last time which was my sort of bright light orange uh shuttly giant thing. spaceship oh um, no 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 the little, other the little other bright light small orange. football yes ball one. yes um and then the other thing is the mech my my nexo knight mech i i just finished redesigning uh last night and Here's what he looks like now. Now, what he looked like before is if you imagine this sort of battlement piece. There's like these these two battlement the, pieces like, that castle, part. yeah, that are that are the top of this thing, sort of parked right on top of this thing, right here. That's kind of what he looked like. What I realized was it's one of those things you built this really fast and it, you know did what it needed to do, but the arm was sticking out down here. You know, and the proportions on the whole thing were really weird. And I mean, it's, it's not even like a gorilla; it's like or, or a frog. There's there's just like nothing that. to compare. Yeah. So I moved him back up there, and that gave me all this torso, which enabled me to add rotation, which is fun. And then and this took a while to dope out a good way to do chest full missiles. Who doesn't like missiles? So this was a fun thing to revisit, especially because I plan. On, on keeping it around. And I actually hacked up a piece to do it. Oops, that's not the one I did. But in order to get the arms attached using only one brick, because once again, the battlement piece is right behind this and I can't really do anything about that. I lopped, this is a two and a half long axle now. Um, because that way it sticks the full. Yeah, it's basically, I mean, they don't make a, a brick, you know, they don't make a one by two with a ball sticking out of it, but if they did, it would look like that it would be sticking out about that far yeah um but i also super glued the ball on top of it because this will just pop off every time you move the arm you know if you yeah, don't, if you don't yeah. do that. i've encountered this there was a bionicle mod that i did and i i had to do the same thing so you know 
Um, it's all a long trail of tears. Yeah, um, there's. I guess there's no way to really like do that within the one brick space. It's like two brick space. There's all kinds of solutions. But yeah, but I mean, the thing is, I was trying to make the proportions better, and yeah, it just. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I had to be honest. Like up. his arms were just way the fuck out there. And it was cool because then I, I got the arms on. And I was like, okay, done. And then yesterday I was like, nope, the arms have to be completely redone because they were a lot wimpier than they are now. So Yeah, the proportions are definitely better. It feels more cohesive. Yeah. And the waist swivel, I think, is key I like for like a mecha. I to do more on the back, too. So, yeah. Pretty pleased. Pretty pleased with that. Um, that's the only original content I think I've got. So there you go. I do have some original Lego content as well, which we can talk about. Um, because we're in a time warp situation, I'm not really sure when we're going to post this. Mm. There's a possibility this goes up along with the other two episodes before this. Like, get my ass in gear and shit goes up before this it con actually this. happens. There's no need for this thing. Or maybe not. I, I've been I've been off this week and I've been loving it. So yeah, just, yeah. Like, I've been... My, my life's sort of been upside down lately. Yeah, so, like, chill out. it's... You know, we're just getting there. We're uh, we're rolling through. Just just hop in your VW Bug, dude. And just cruise, cruise, just California dreaming, listen to the Beach Hit Boys, the beach. have yeah. some have some fake memories. Yes, <laughs> that was the funny thing. This made me nostalgic for memories I've never ever actually acquired. Yeah, well, yeah. it was that time you hung out with the Beach Boys. You know, yeah, that time. Were, I, well, yeah. I don't surf. I didn't grow up on the West Coast. You know, I, I, in, in, or in you know, surf rock. I did have a crappy car once. You know, but they're not going to make a Lego set out of that one. Well, you could just recolor that one to look really crappy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be a challenge. I, while I was building this, I was thinking I was going to have to buy another one for all these beautiful dark azure parts. But then once I got it done, I realized I think I'm good. I mean, this is going to be around for a while because it's pretty. But yeah. at some point, I'm going to make a, a mock in this color, and I'm going to. And, and we'll have to. We'll have to make the sacrifice. I'll take this dude apart. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe I'll. Make you might be able to recolor. I mean, I know these parts are unique Which, to this yeah, set. Yeah, pretty sweet. Um, but you could just make it have fatter fenders, with, like some dark green or gold or something. Yeah, I was ridiculous. thinking of um, like making some brick built characters for it. I was thinking maybe of, of modifying into a flying car because that's the thing I like to do with sets that yeah. I like. Um, but nah, I'm just gonna trash it. But it's beautiful. Nice yeah, work. nice work, yeah. guys. So anyway. Con is coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, if I put this out today, which is not going to happen, it will be a week from from today. From today, yes, a week from today. Yeah. It'll be public hours. Yeah. Um, so happening. Bricks LA is happening yes. again. Mm -hmm. Pasadena, worst time of the year. I've already said that on record. It's a bad weekend, but if you can make it. And somehow this transmission's reach you. Get your life together. Yeah. Come to LA. If you're a little tired from New no, Year's Eve it's weekend, Pasadena. We, we get it. It's Pasadena. We're not expecting you know, much for like, conversation. Just come along. I think it's, I think cool. it's like seven bucks for parking. I don't, I don't even know how much it is to get in, but you'll, you'll I, be all right. I, sometimes I can find street parking if I'm willing yeah, to walk a yeah, block or two. Yeah. And like, you know, it's good. Get your steps in. Get the exercise. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I have that fucking pedometer on my iPhone, so like... Mm -hmm. My my wife and I kind of pay attention to it. She pays a lot of attention to it. I pay a little attention to it. Okay. And she's like, oh, man. Like, did you get your 10,000? And most of the time, it's no. But, uh, 10,000. You know, during, you like, like 10,000 steps. That's the goal. That's like your... what? A day? Yeah, a day. A day. It's a, okay. it's, it's like two and a half miles, I think, total. Okay. And, like, really, if you're, if you're somewhat active, if you go do stuff. Like, if I walk the dog long walks twice i can probably do ten thousand. the only conversation i have as a reference is that one of the set dressers i work with said he does five thousand during a show oh work. yeah yeah which is and impressive he's walking around all yeah, the time that's impressive so it's like 10, over a day it's like months. that's a long time of you walking around that includes mm -hmm. like you walking around in the toy aisle at target and like hearing some dude yell at his kids and like all right, I'll get out of my It's the best of times. Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like one time I was trapped underneath a mall parking lot. I walked the entire fucking thing, got my 10,000 steps that day. All right, there no you problem. go. So you just kind of got to look at it that way. Park a little further away, park on the street, come to the con. You can come see me. You can come see Jeff. We'll have some builds. Some space stuff. There's some um, cool stuff going Keith, on. Keith is building a fucking massive dial. Yeah. So shout out to Keith. Yeah, total shout out to Keith. He um, has really made this whole... We, we will do an episode, I think, from the con. Okay, so I don't definitely. even really necessarily want to talk about uh, what's happening. But I am building a, a space biker gang. So there's a space bike. It's a biker dude. You know, he's got the patch. 
you know. I noticed where you've, you've got some Star Vikings um, stickers going on. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I guess I'll, I'll show you the, the most awesome part is of the bike gang. It's not the bike gang. It's the van gang. Yeah. There's the van. It's the, Well, it's the support. Yeah, yeah. Well, because, like, you know, you need the van for things. Um, I really like this little radar thing that I've got going on up here. This is a uh, two-by-two tile that is wedged into a one-by-one one tile with a clip. Ah. That's a fancy Lee Ward yeah, trick. Yeah, that's who showed me that and, one, too. Uh, that's clipped on to a Nexonite shield right there. So Only works your... with the older two-by-two two tiles because they yeah, have the yeah. legs. And, and that's like the fancy Star Wars printed one or whatever. So it's old, good times. It's old Falcon, right? It's got a... I think so. It's got, you know, high-tech back. Yeah, you know, the droid heads are one of my booty, favorite parts Booty got back. And uh, it's got ramps. For some action. So there'll be some action. You'll see this in action on a dio. Um, Stuff's going to be going down. Next weekend, there's going to be a bunch of crazy shit. The homies are showing up. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's, it's This this weekend is really... I don't care about New Year's Eve. I, I, I've lived through... I lived through so many New Year's Eves in New York City that um, it just burned me out forever. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that seems that seems like a, a lot mm. to be in New York for that. Yeah, it's always a fiasco. You never get a taxi. I mean, it's probably different now with Uber, but um, we way, we I'm just like, we don't even like do anything like these days. We just like all of our friends just go like, okay, let's come over to our house. And we'll just have I'm like, all right, cool. I've, I just, I've always, We're adults I, now, right? Right. Like, I think New Year's Eve is like the prom for grownups. You know, it's sort of like this thing that actually isn't that fun is sort of a pain in the ass but there's this obligation and you genuinely yeah, yeah. feel bad if you didn't do it like what'd you do on new year's eve i just sat at home and watched dick clark on tv yeah with the ball yeah. drop you know like yeah. did the boilerplate thing the super lame one you know and even if your answer is um you know i got stuck for three hours on a subway because a drunk guy kept pulling the brake cord and i threw up in the garbage you know you still feel like you're living uh but but anyway <laughs> That didn't actually happen to me on New Year's Eve. That was like a couple of experiences. We're kind of it's okay. amalgamated I'm, together. I've got, I've got some stories. We'll, we'll keep those for yeah, off, well, off it's the not, cast. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. It's I mean, not really on topic. Uh, you know, have welcome to 2018. Hopefully it's better than 2017. Yeah. Oh, I want to give a shout out to this say. thing. Um, this has been... This is from a long time ago. <laughs> But you've talked about this. I have episodes. talked about this. I right. have talked about this. Even yeah. the first day's episode. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. I just wanted to shout out to this thing because I don't remember when I first discovered it, but I had a crappy temp job in 2002 in San Francisco um, working for Credit Suisse. And they were nice people and it was fine. I was just doing data entry and all that stuff. But um, one of the ways that I was keeping myself sane was looking at the – John Palmer Alphabet project all the time. I just had that window open constantly. So whenever I was just like, I would just click. And this one in particular was always a fave. So it's really amazing to see this in print. I mean, that was 15 years ago, you know. I, was, I think it's even longer than that. Well, that's, that's what I'm, that's the time, that's a specific memory I've got. Oh, really? Like, okay. So that does you know? date it then to 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah. So it was it's online on Zemi.net fall of 2002 is wow. the specific time. I, I don't remember when I actually found out about it. That's wild. That's yeah. rad. I mean, it's, 2002 is also the year I discovered, I think, Bricklink. No oh God. Yeah, I was just buying random. When I needed parts, I would just aim for locks on eBay. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I did that. I did that once or twice. Pack. I bought some gray, gray Lego by the pound off of eBay. It was. I bought this. Okay. I bought this lot of um, red wedge pieces, like like inverted slope and regular top okay. slope. Like yeah. it's like the like the four by four tapered, way, but it's, it's too too wide at the front. Yeah. And yeah. the. The photographs on the auction page looked like art. You know, it, was, it was like, you know, 20 of these things in a white background with a light box and they look so pretty. Yeah. So yeah. I was thinking you about had that. You have it. Yeah. And it's, it was a cool piece. It's yeah. It's a hard piece to have. Well, anyway, it's the fucking holidays. The fucking so thing. naturally, I've got a pirate bag. Nice. It's like there's Orlando Bloom. Oh, man. I didn't even know this was a pirate Caribbean bag. I, I only saw this from the front today. So, uh, happy holidays. Oh, fuck. This is a gift for, you, this is a gift for me? Thank you so much. 
I'm so pleased about this. I, okay, um, so I, I figured you I needed that minifig hair in your life. I do. This this, this one right here. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd's mom, like back in her, because she's Lloyd's she's mom, in, who's an Iron Princess warrior. Like, what the fuck is that, dude? That's uh, like a flashback kind of territory. Like, okay. She's she's in, you know. I I've not seen the movie. Obviously, she's retired in the thing. Um, we don't need to get into the details, but that is sorry. Yeah, yeah that comes to the shark mech, which is oh, fucking hilarious. Okay. I honestly, I, I didn't get you anything, which is Fine. awful <laughs> <That'd be cool. laughs> because I'll get you something later. Um, thanks, but I'm super psyched about this because I didn't even know until uh, like an hour ago that she was in this set. Oh, because really? She's, because she didn't, she wasn't in the first wave of, of sets. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but she's also in the giant like mono wheel mech one. Oh, okay, crazy. yeah, yeah. Because that, that was like a wave. The big black Yeah, that was a wave one. Two or wave 1.5, yeah, whatever yeah. this is. That set actually looks um, really cool. But yeah, and I discovered that she was in this smaller set when I looked in this bag an hour ago because I thought it was something somebody gave oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks. I had no You're idea. welcome, dude. You're yeah. welcome. Well, I'll get you back. Yeah, no worries. Now. <laughs> Target's claimed. Here's you went over this. Here's, here's, <laughs> <laughs> Have some Captain America in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, freedom, freedom in the new year. <laughs> yeah, last year I bought my own Christmas present. Like I just was online getting other presents, and I was like, "Oh, here I can get the Indominus Rex breakout for this discount if I just do this now." Yeah. And both my wife and kid were kind of honked off at me, so they did the shopping. I just talked about that already. But I was on a Target run on like Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve Eve, I forget. And Julie calls me up, and she goes. Hey, Brickheads, tell me about Brickheads. And I'm like, you know, I got a couple from my Secret Santa at work. Shout out to Unwarty. Um, uh, and yeah, I kind of dig them. Like, I thought about getting the Iron Man. There, there's good parts back. Well, what happened, the, the punchline is that she could, could you, while you're there, could you pick yourself up a couple? Because I need to fill out your stocking with something. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, be because like, oh, so I skipped all the brickheads, but I bought. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I, 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 I see, see, if you open this box up, the poly bags individually are like a brickhead each. <laughs> they were pretty cleaned out, so I only got. I was I was lucky to find. Um, the I do I, I do want to show off one thing before oh, we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is That's my bad. alien girl. She's got goggles. That was a fun discovery. It's uh, it's, it's working. You can stick visors on a killer moth head because of yeah. rubber. Yeah, because she's uh, rubbery. Or if you got a bee, yeah. you know, poly, uh, CMF. Fucking watch out. Yeah. Coming for you. So uh, we hopefully will see you in Pasadena. If not, we'll see it's you cool. sometime on the internet. 2018 is going to be fun. Yeah. To a new year. Yeah. Fucking cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers Jeff. Yeah. This is the more superior beer than the other one. Just putting that on record. With that being said, about the same. We'll see you later. Right on.